we are living in the future. And I can prove it because I'm wearing an armband that allows me to control things just with my gesture. Look, I made a taxi go. Okay, I didn't, but I'll show you how it works. The Myo Gesture Control armband uses various sensors to work out your muscles moving inside your arm. Inside here, you've got metal pads, and the idea is you strap it onto your lower arm like this, and then he uses a gyroscope and accelerometer to work out your movements, even just tapping my fingers. Let's see if it works. Today, I've got to give a very important presentation, and normally I'd use a little clicker to move the slides forward and back. But oh no, today I'm Tony Stark, and I'm gonna use my fingers. Look, I can move the slides forward. I can move the sl I can move the slides forwards if I pinch my fingers. And if I make a fist, there, I'm zooming in. Look, handsome chap. Woo! It's kind of fun, I suppose. Now, in theory, the Mayo can control all sorts of media. So YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Netflix. We've got here a YouTube video, which looks very interesting. Let's see if we can get to play it. Okay, and play. 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 Now, Mayo's teamed up with Sphero, which is the toy maker of the moment, who made the BB-8 droid from Star Wars. And once you've calibrated it, you can start having some fun. Play. Play. Eventually, I do feel it'd be easier pressing the play button. Moving, oh, oh, fast forward, rewind. Oh, for crying out, this is absolutely useless. I guess the Mayo is kind of fun, but every single bit of technology it supposedly replaces, frankly, does the job far better. We can land a probe on a moving comet, and this is the best we can come up with. Are we living in the future? Not with the Mayo, we're not. <laughs>